Hey, Rob again here. So that was the manual clone, but you're thinking that's way too much to do. So let's do it scripted. I've got that for you here. Okay, so now that we've got one, we'll just move them off into this folder here. Uh, and now let's do the others. And you're thinking, Rob, wait a second. I don't want to have to clone all of them manually like that. No, no you don't. So why don't we just script it? Our box is designed to allow you to do all kinds of automation. So all I did was create a very simple list. Uh, since that infrastructure was built out redundancy uh, with redundancy with two VMs for every role, uh, for my test copy, I just need one for every role. So here's the list of VMs that I really want. Uh, for Citrix, these are going to be my storefront server, um, my DC, my AD controller, um, you know, the SQL, et cetera, et cetera. And this is going to be the VM names that I'm going to copy them to. So I'm just going to jump over to my PowerShell script here that I've already written. And we are going to run this guy, authenticate to the bots, and it's through here that what we're going to see is uh, we're going to be cloning each one of these individually, going through the steps that I did manually, except that all I had to do was start this task. So it's already started. And the first one is done, and we've got about seven more to go or so. Now, in doing this, I'm doing this direct to the VM store, uh, and it's the one talking to the, the vCenter. So I don't even need to do anything on the vCenter to, uh, to do this. Uh, my, and my script itself is a very simple one that is simply bringing in the CSV, and for each one, it's doing a new Tintry clone. It's doing it to the host resource. I'm asking it to use the latest snapshot so we can get them all consistent at that last 6 a.m. snapshot and a source name and a destination name. And that's all there is to it. And in a short amount of time, we can see that here's our VMs populating. And they're just about finished. And the good news is that once you've done this, uh, the other operation is to just sync these after we've reconfigured them. Uh, so that's even quicker. So let's just uh, get this finished and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, our last one is now registered. Uh, we can see from our timestamps that when we started the operation, uh, you know, we went through and in less than two minutes, here we are with fully functional VMs. But just like before, we're going to want to reconfigure them to put them off into a network that won't bother the production ones. All right, and that wraps up automated cloning. Stay tuned for more.